I am driving to the co-op to get some laying mash, but today is what I call Desperation Saturday. It is the last day of rifle season in the state of Pennsylvania, and people will be flinging bullets every which way but loose. Oh, I've got a tag. I've got to fill it. You know, otherwise I'll get teased at work for eating tag soup. It's just it's just pretty stupid. But it is Desperation Saturday. You'll see packs of 15 and 20 guys out in the woods trying to drive all the deer out and shoot them all up, which I don't have a problem with if you want. You know, it's an American tradition. But watch where you send your bullets. Just a thought. Another thing I wanted to do was thank everybody for... for I hit 4,000 subscribers, I think, on Monday or Tuesday. And it's climbing pretty fast beyond that. So I want to give thanks to all those that have hit the red button. I know you don't all watch my content, but that's fine because I don't watch all of yours. So it's even Steven. But I want to do a, an update on the International Lodestar 345 engine rebuild part four. Stay tuned, won't you? Just got done painting the oil pan with this stuff here. High heat ultra. Uh, longest lasting finish. Love you long time. Finish type five dollar each of you. And that should do. Well, that's going to conclude day four. The intake manifold's on, the exhaust manifold's ready to put on, the alternator's on, the oil pan's on, uh, oil pump obviously, the oil filter, and according to Hillbilly, there is oil in the filter. So got to top off the engine pretty much the tops buttoned up um, I am on a, at a standstill now I will tell you this because it is part four for a uh, carburetor I did order one out of Columbus Ohio I do expect it here tomorrow or Monday at the latest presto and the carb came in just in a blink of an eye it's magic just like everything else on YouTube. So let's take a look at this. Dear sir, I hope you enjoy this carburetor. I made it especially for you. And um, I also added my business card in there. Can you guys read that? Yeah. All right. Let's get to the nitty gritty of it. Oh. Oh yeah, two barrel, because that's what they put on these things in 1974. Two barrel carburetor, I'm not going to pull it out of there. I don't want to jack anything up. But there it is. And this will be going on there most Ricky Tick. Oh, it looks fan-freaking-tastic. I couldn't believe how fast I found one. Um, I went to Napa. I went to Advanced Auto. I went to a lot of different places. They're like, uh, does that take a four-barrel or does that take this? No, no, it's a two-barrel carb. Oh, we're not going to be able to get that. Got online. Boom. And got it right away. So here it is. This is the carb. Also a thermostat. Um Napa did have one. The other parts store did have one. Uh, the exact match, but it was a 195 degree thermostat. Uh, that's not acceptable to me. Uh, these engines should run 180 degree thermostat in them. That's what I want to run. So I ordered it off the internet and I'm waiting on that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you at the startup. <laughs>